before we declare the word, the man of God shared a testimony. And there's an angel of death that has been released. Whether you're young, whether you're old, whether you're middle age, there's an angel. I'm not talking about Corona. Help me, God. I'm talking about something different. There's an angel of death that has been released. And if you are not ready, I'm not just talking to people in the bus, I'm talking to those who are also online. And, I, and you can hear, I'm talking to the men who are, in, who are in the vehicle and they can drive and hear us. If you are not ready, if you are not ready, death can take you out. Death can take you out. Where would you spend your eternity? The man of God said, where is your position? Are you in the right position? Let me just say something with that. If you don't know Christ, you're in the wrong position. If you do not know Christ, you are in the wrong position. Help me God. If you don't know Christ, it, therefore, listen, there is no Jesus, there's no Jesus, devil and middle. There's no, nothing like that. It's either Jesus or Satan. So don't tell me that, oh, I am going to do it. Help me, God. Understand, if you're going to do it, you have not done it yet. It means you are in line with the devil. Help me, God. It's not my word. It's what the word of God said. Oh, no, no. But, Pastor, I, I'm getting ready. God didn't, God didn't call you to get ready. Understand this. All he wants is for you to present yourself, and he will make you ready. Help me, God. The Holy Spirit is the one that makes you ready. The Holy Spirit is the one yes. that makes you ready. Yes. Not, 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 oh, I need to fix this. I need to, you can't fix nothing. Yes. If you try to fix it, can I tell you, it's going to fail. Because anything you do in your flesh is going to fail unless you have God within you. Unless, oh, but, but, but pastor, don't tell me that because I've achieved so much in life. Where are you going to take it when you die? So since you have achieved so much, Pastor, you know, see, you know, see me good. I have my house, I have my car, I have my wife, I have my pitney, then I have my this, my young, me this. When you die, I want you to take it. The only thing you take with you is your salvation. Everything else. Everything else. Don't tell me you're not ready. Don't tell me you're not ready because God is ready for you. No! is the accepted time of salvation. Oh, yeah, man of God, this is not even the word, you know. This is not even the word, no, but the Lord have me on this, you know, because I understand that there are some people that you're still wondering, what do I do? I mean, I mean, should I make this step that brother Jason make? Should I make this step that brother Kurt make? I don't understand. Can I tell you, this step is just the second step. Help me, God. This is just the second step. Oh, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. If you're waiting on a lady, dark name your supper. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the language. If you're waiting on a man, you salt. Because they can't save you. I can tell you, I can tell you, I can't help me, Lord. I want to preach the word. Help me, Lord. I can tell you about a situation in Jamaica. I'm not telling you about a story. I'm telling you about something. As I stood on the platform and we preached, and the girl came to the altar. I was there, not a story. I was there and we preach, we preach, we preach. And she came and she said, I want to surrender my life to Jesus Christ. And her boyfriend looked at her and said, No, not today. Not today. Because if you if you if you accept Jesus, where are you going to where where are you going to live? Where are you going to this because you're not working? And she turned around. She turned around. She said to the counselor, I'm sorry, I can't do it right now. I can't do it right now. They drove out. They drove out. And I mean, people of God, I'm not telling you a story. Help me, Jesus. I'm not telling you a story. I'm telling you something. I was the preacher. I was there. They drove out. And while they drove out, 10 minutes after that, when I wrap up and I'm driving home, is the same cure. She died. He lived. She died. He lived. Lord, why am I talking like this if I be a Christian in here? It therefore means that there's somebody that is, that is listening to my voice, uh, that you're not sure where you are, and God is calling you to surrender. 
No more delay. No more question. She can't save you. Him can't save you. Your big this can't save you. Your house can't save you. Your children can't save you. Your friends can't save you. But 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 listen, listen this one that 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 yeah, yeah, listen. Let me explain something to you. The Bible says the devil is the father of lies. People of God may not go to the scripture and this more and preach, you know. But the Lord have me on it. There's a reason why. It's a reason why. I want you to understand. The Bible says the devil is the father of lies. Father, not just a liar. He's the father of lies. Understand, if Jesus say, you are, you are your son's father. In other words, understand anything Jesus say? He might go believe him. So let me tell you what the enemy tell you. The enemy tell you, say, no worry about that. You can do it next week when you're done, sort out. You, 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 you can wait. I mean, don't, don't, not, not matter thing. You, you're young. T time is on your side. There's no time on your side. Because time waits on no man. Time waits on no man. Give your life to Jesus today. 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 Turn your Bibles with me to St. John chapter 11. Help me, Jesus. St. John chapter 11. St. John chapter 11. There are three scriptures. Three scriptures I want to, to run through with you as quick as possible. Don't have much time, but we're going to do what God said. Now, right now, I change from talking to all of the, 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 the ones who are questioning to the Christians. Because we have a word for you all. You're about to get baptized. Bless God and we're happy for you. But we're not going to give in a false gospel. Help me, Jesus. Church, I want you to understand. We're not giving a false gospel. We're not giving a false hope, Jesus. We're not giving a false hope, Kirk. There's no false hope. That Listen, what I mean by that? There's no false hope that everything is going to be okay. Oh, the church. I say amen. So the church amen. disagree. True, true, listen, true. everything is not necessarily going to be okay, my friend. You're going to have rough days. Yes. Help me, Jesus. Yes. So, 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 so but, but, but let me explain to you what I'm saying. Listen to the theme first. The physical price to pay to get to the spiritual glory of God. There is a physical price that you and you and I have to pay to get to the glory of God. Don't forget that. St. John chapter 11. St. John chapter 11. All right. Verse 3. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it from what I have. St. John chapter 11, verse 3. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. St. John chapter 11, verse 3. It says this. Don't forget. Don't forget the theme. There is a physical price to pay to get to the what? The glory of God. As children of God, all we want is the glory of God. We don't want nothing else. All we want is the glory of God to be manifested in and through us. So St. John chapter 3, St. John chapter 11, I'm sorry, from verse 3 to verse 6, it says, and this is a different version, the ESV. It says, So the sisters sent to him, that him is to Jesus, say, Lord, he whom he what? Somebody help me. Love. Yeah. Are you following in your Bibles? You're following with me? Yeah. So the sisters sent to him, that's Jesus saying, Lord, he who he what? Love. Um, everybody know the scripture that says what? For God so what? Love the world. In other words, are you in the world? Yes. Help me. So, so right here I'm saying, he who he love, which means you're a part of that. He who he loves. Amen? Amen. Is ill. Now, we're talking about a man named Lazarus. That's who we're talking about, Lazarus. But listen to verse 4. But when Jesus heard it, he said, but Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Help me, Jesus. Understand this first. Listen, I'm going to read back verse 3. We don't have much time, but help me God. It says, So the sister sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom he loved. In other words, Jesus loved Lazarus. But then, and, and they tell Jesus, send the message that what? Lazarus is what? Sick. Listen to what Jesus said. This one blew my mind. Jesus said, So when Jesus heard that he said, when Jesus heard that he was sick, Jesus said, the illness does not lead to death. It is for the... Glory. Come on, church, have a talk to me. Glory. It is for the what? Glory. The glory of God. Yes. So that the Son of God may be glorified. 
So, but, but, but I'm going to jump to verse 6. Let's do what Jesus do. Remember, you know, him sick. So, if, 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 my dear sister in the yellow, if somebody's sick, if your brother's sick, what are you going to do? Now go to him. Because he's sick. But listen to what Jesus do. Jesus, the King of Kings and Lord. Look what Jesus doing in verse 6. So, when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed two days longer. Help me, Jesus. Oh, what kind of Jesus this? When, when he heard, when Jesus hear you calling, the Bible said he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. But Jesus, me not under, if my sick and doctor come immediately, oh, you take two more days. Oh, you take two more days, Jesus. In other words, Jesus, Kirk, listen. If you don't feel well and you can call upon Jesus today, he not must come same time. Why? Because there's a possibility that what you're going through, you have to go through it so you can get help me, God. You can see the glory of God being manifested. It is not about, hey, listen to me. You're in a white, you're in a white. Bless God for that. But it's not about you. It's about the glory of God that will come upon you when, help me God, understand this. The Bible says that Lazarus was Jesus' friend. But he said, hold on, he said, hold on to the disciples. Wait, 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 wait. We're not going there. Let, 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 let me say this to you. If Jesus went there, Lazarus would have never experienced the glory of God. Hey, don't miss this. Because the glory of God came with what? Physical death. You have to die physically. Understand what I mean. I never said somebody has to kill you. But flesh has to die. So the glory of God can be manifested inside of you. The glo Listen. All of this is about the glory of God. Lazarus had to die so that God could use him. Oh, Jesus. People of God, Lazarus. Listen, if Jesus came and laid hands on him, then he wouldn't have this story. He wouldn't have died. The Bible says, Jesus, the Bible said he was four days. Four days. Four days. In other words, Lazarus in the grave. Jesus, Lazarus in the grave. The Bible says he stunk. Jamia Kalina, him think. <laughs> he stinks. But guess what? Jesus said he wasn't late. Because Lazarus had to die so that Jesus could say, Lazarus, come forth. And, and, and don't, 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 don't miss this. When Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth, he didn't only call him forth. Jesus did something else. She, oh, help me remember now. Remember right now that is a dead man. In other words, him, him body died, but Jesus called him back and then said, unwrap him. In other words, unwrap the sickness from him. But you have to wait for, for Jesus in order for the sickness to be unwrapped. So when you're calling on Jesus and you don't hear nothing, that's fine. He's never late. He's always on time. He's always on time. Turn to St. John chapter 9. St. John chapter 9. Verse 1 to 9. St. John 9. What a theme. Physical price has to be paid so you can get the spiritual glory of God. St. John chapter 9. Listen to what it says. And he passed and he saw a blind man from birth. And his disciples, they're going to change it. The people of God, we were in the bus, say, Rabbi, who sinned? Because that's, that's, that's how we look at stuff in a man of God. When we see people, we think, is what him do now? Make the sickness step on him. Is what him do now? Make him blind. Is what this and what that? But, 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 but listen, and his disciples asked him. Remember, his disciples were the 12 that was walking with him. His disciples were the close ones that were around him. Help me, Jesus. Verse 3, and Jesus answered, It was not that this man sinned, or his parents, 
but that the works of God might be displayed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one, when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am what? The light of the world. Having said these things, look what Jesus do. Remember, Jesus said, him not do nothing. Help me, God. But Jesus didn't just lay hands on him and heal him. This time, Jesus did something different. Your healing sometimes doesn't come in the normal form. Your deliverance sometimes doesn't come in the normal form. Your breakthrough, Jason, might not just come in the normal form. Listen to what Jesus did. Having said these, Jason, now tell me if me come to you right now. Me, me, Pastor Edgar, nobody think about Jesus. Me come to you and something wrong with you. And this is what me do. Me spit on the ground. Tell me, Pastor Edgar, no. Me spit on the ground. And me say, Jason, so, so you tell me, say, your, your mouth will hurt you. And me spit on the ground. I'm going to make mud out of my spit. You're going to make me put my hand on your mouth? <laughs> the first thing you're going to say is the blood of Jesus against your Pastor McLean. You're going to say, Pastor McLean, something wrong with you. How can I, how can I nasty pastor this? But, 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 but could I tell you, Jesus could have missed the glory of God because he's looking at the natural. God don't do stuff. God don't do healing in the natural form. God does it in his way. You can't look at the natural. But there is something I don't want you to miss. The, the point is the man had to be born blind so that he could experience the glory of God. I am saying to you guys who are about to be baptized, and I'm saying to you children of God, don't look at the natural. You have to die. Your flesh has to die so the glory of God can be manifested in you. If you are in flesh, you can't experience the glory of God. Oh, okay, Pastor McLean, that don't sound right. Pastor McLean, what do you mean by that? If you are in your flesh, if you are in your feelings, the glory of God cannot be manifested. Let me tell you something. When a man of God going lay him hands on you, if him in the flesh, may I tell you, you can't get healed. When you are praying, help me, Jesus. When you decide for us, pray, 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 but you're not connected to the Spirit, nothing is going to go on your way. You know why? Because the Bible says in James, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. That righteous means the believer. The effectual fervent prayer of the believer avail it much. And woman of God, I had to do a research because that righteous man means the believer. Because the Bible says, no, not none are righteous. Help me, Jesus. Don't miss it. The Bible says, none of us not righteous. Only God is. So it's talking about the believer. The believer that is not playing church. The believer that is walking in the will of God. I'm not saying you don't have mistakes, you know. I'm not saying different things are not coming, you know. But understand this. You have to allow your flesh, you have to allow your body to die so that God can use you. God, so that God can use you. Where are you? Are you still in the flesh? Or are you operating in the spirit? Are you still in the flesh? Or are you operating in the spirit? People of God, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Are you in the what? Flesh. Or, or what? Are you in the spirit? Turn to the final, because we're almost returned to this. Matthew chapter 1, quickly, Matthew 1, Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Help me, God. So listen, we talk about Lazarus, but Lazarus is a man like me and you, though. Yes. Church, amen? Yes. We talk about the blind man, but the blind man is a man like me and you, though. Yes. Truth? All right. Who is this person? Listen now, Matthew 1, verse 21. Let me tell you what it says. She will give birth to a what? Come where your Bible say. To a son. And you are to give him the name what? Because he will what? Save his people. Well, no, 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 man of God, no, I'm that. 
Oh, the church, stop talking to me. Yes, yes, yes. Is it, hey, Jesus was God, but he was fully man. Don't miss this. It means that Jesus had to give up his physical body so that what? Matthew 1, 21. She will give birth to a son. And you are to give him the name because he will save his people from there. In other words, he has to what? Die. Jesus had to die. So that, oh, people of God, please, you might not know it, but let me explain something to you. The Bible said, when Jesus gave up the ghost, when Jesus gave up the ghost, the temple was torn. The veil was torn in two. The veil was torn in two when Jesus gave up the ghost. But not only that, when he gave up the ghost, you know what happened? The glory of God came upon him. That is why when he appeared to the disciples after that, what happened? He didn't appear in man. He appeared in the spirit. Even Jesus had to die so that he could see the glory of God. Do you have to die so that you can see the glory of God? Will you die so that you can experience the glory of God? Will you die? Will you die today? Listen, I never say I must go to over on the beach, you know. That's not what I said. I nobody tell nobody about Pastor McLean come here and say he must go to over on the beach. That's not what I said. But flesh, your flesh has to die. Your feelings have to die. So when somebody says something to you as a, as a child of God, as a man of God, man of God, and it might feel away, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because God will fight my battles. Because if you try to fight your battles, you are going to be defeated. But if you allow God to fight your battle, can I tell you, victory is yours. Victory is yours. If what? If you allow God to fight. But the only way, finally, that God can fight your battle is if flesh dies. Something physically has to die so that you can experience the glory of God. When you go into this water today, yes, you have accepted Christ. Listen, be, be, be very clear now. I don't know you get saved, you know. You get saved already. Nobody, nobody tell us about baptism, save you. You understand? You already saved. But then this God says is very important. This is very important to do. But when you make sure that when you go into the water today, that flesh dies. When you stand on the side and you are looking at them, make sure that your flesh is already dead. Because the only way you might see the dove that they might see if they die is if your flesh would have died. Somebody missed that. Let me explain no, that to we you. Don't miss it. We don't miss it. You remember? You remember she said it earlier in church. When Jesus was baptized, what happened? The dove, which represented the Holy Spirit, came upon him. But you can't see the Holy Spirit if you're in flesh. Help me, Jesus. He will come and brother Jason and brother Kirk with feet. And you're saying, I wonder what am I going to about? Because Maybe you are in flesh. Jesus. You have to be in the spirit to see it. When you go down, when we put you down, and let me help you something. It might be our hands you feel, but understand this. It is the Holy Spirit that is dipping you guys in that water today. You are in the hands of God, not in the hands of us ministers. Because God needs, every spirit needs a body. That's why evil spirit need a body. That's why somebody will do something to you. Most of the time, it's an evil spirit, none of them. That's why you don't argue with them. 
You come, help me, Jesus. Me need for yeah. done. You command the spirit to go from them, not them. Yeah. Question is, what kind of spirit is within you? Jesus. Is it the Holy Spirit? Jesus. Or is it some other spirit? Because if it's not the Holy Spirit, it's another spirit. But the only way the Holy Spirit can come in you is you have to die. Yeah. Flesh has to die. Yeah. Feelings have to die. Yeah. Feelings and flesh have to die. So that you can experience the glory of God. Father, we thank you for your word. Yes, Hallelujah. We thank you, God, that you would have ministered your word to your people today. And Father, the truth is, God, even as I'm here, I know that I still need to die. I still need to die. God, all of us, God, needs to die. So that, God, we can experience your true glory. So, Father, today, I pray we will completely surrender to you. Not just for this baptism, but even after when we are, we are fellowshipping. Even when we go to work tomorrow. Even when we're driving on the road and somebody upsets us, God. Even when our children don't do the right thing. Even when our husband. Now you just get baptized. Help me, Jesus. And I'm not showing my word at your sister. Lord, help us. Help us, God. Help us, Lord, to die. Help us, God, to die. Because, God, we want to see your glory. Yes, God. We want to experience your anointing, God. Yes, Jesus. Father, we want to dream dreams and see visions. Yes, we want, Almighty God, for the dead to raise. Yes. We want, Almighty, for the sick to be healed. But most importantly, God, we want to enter into your gates. Yes, Jesus. We want to enter into those gates, God. Yes. And not just merely God. Lord, we want to run through that gates. Knowing God that you can say, well done. So help us, Jesus. Work on us, God. But today, Lord, we surrender to you. We surrender our will and our weight to you. We surrender our everything to you.